Hi everybody, Houston Singletary. I'm going to take you through and show you how we can convert MIDI to audio. It's really quick, very convenient. The other thing that I like about it is I can actually freeze it, convert it to audio, and then do some really interesting things with warping effects and things like that once it's audio. So let me show you how quickly we can do that. Let's go over here to our instrument folder. Double click it. Click on instruments. We'll go to drum rack. I'm going to actually work with uh, one of the drum machines from Ableton the drum machine library. I'll go ahead and choose this 606 Classic. I'll double click. Automatically opens up the first track you can see there. I'll go ahead and double click it. Opens up the drum rack and now I can either play the pads or I can actually just play with MIDI. So I'll go ahead and double click on the first clip slot. This also gives you a nice convenient one bar template. So if I go down to our clip view, go to our position window, you can see that I've got it set for one bar very convenient. We've got our metronome on and a record enabled. So let's go ahead and record launch here and record a couple of drum sounds. Turn our pencil tool on. Scroll down a little bit, put the kick drum in. tool off up here and we'll go ahead and stop and now we've got our basic MIDI track of this 606 drum machine we'll go ahead and turn off our record enable here got our stop clip button right below this clip slot in the second clip slot a convenient way to stop it as well as the space bar of course so if I double click one more time you can see the notes are here we can heighten up our MIDI note editor window just by mousing over the top and dragging it up. Okay, so I like that pattern. We're going to stick with that. Let's go up here to this little tab button up here at the top of the track view here. Open that up. That shows all the individual sounds that are available being played or not played within this 606 preset in our drum rack. Let's go ahead and close our browser up. And now, if I push play, Go ahead and take this snare out, go back down. I'll just double click. There it goes. All right, so you can see the individual track views show these drums. And if it's a track view, let's solo the instruments out. Let's find that snare. There it is, snare 606. So if it's got individual track views for this drum rack, obviously we can go over here to the left, open up our audio effects window. We can just simply drop an effect right onto the track itself. Great. Maybe we'll take another effect as well. Let's take the auto filter, bring that over to the hi-hat, drop on that track. There we go. So you can see I'm starting to affect some of the individual tracks all within the single drum rack. Let's take one more effect here. We'll drop the EQ8 great sounding EQ and the internal Ableton library. Drop that on the kick drum. Boost that up just a little bit. Okay, so now we've affected some of the individual instruments. We'll close the tab window. Close our track view here on the individual drum sounds. Go ahead and hit stop. We'll go ahead and highlight the track. And go up to our edit window. We'll go down to freeze track. Now we'll simply make a brand new audio track. Pops up there to the right, and we'll simply drag our MIDI clip into the audio track. And it's its own audio clip with the effects included. Really, really cool stuff. If I undo that, drag that over and keep a nice copy there on the first track as far as MIDI goes. And I've got my audio track. And like I said before, this opens up all kinds of possibilities for turning on warp markers, doing some really interesting warping here. Let's go ahead and bring our loop brace back up and just loop the first bar. Zoom in a little bit more. So there you go. Turning MIDI into audio by using our 
freeze function. The other function, of course, if we undo, go back to our original state here. There we go. I can go down, freeze, and then flatten. This will contain all the effects, the sounds, all the MIDI notes, and turn it into audio on the same track. So you have a choice of working both ways. So that's the converting MIDI to audio function inside Ableton Live 7. Really cool stuff.